Ukuleles will get you through times with no money better than money will get you through times with no ukulele. Well, kind of. When I first bought my ukulele, I played it 24-7. And by that, I literally mean all day and all night. I truly believe the ukulele can cure depression. However, if you ask my sleep-deprived family, I guarantee you they will tell you it causes it. Like all good stories, it was a warm, sunny day. And a ship full of men had just completed their four-month journey and had arrived to the beautiful island of Hawaii. Little did they know that over a hundred years later, the three Portuguese men would still carry the legacy of having forever changed Hawaiian music and given the world the gift of the jumping flea. You see, we live in a world where there's lots of homework, there's lots of violence, there's um, a lot of homework. Um, poverty, yep, that's a big one. And let's face it, there's a lot of homework. <laughs> but back in the old day, these problems were overcome, and the ukulele would be the source of optimism within the locals. You see, these men had actually come to Hawaii to work on sugarcane farms, a job, that is a job that is extremely draining and exhausting. Every Every night, people from all over the town would come and listen to the tunes of these men to keep their spirits high. Suddenly, this happiness, it was a disease. It was infecting everyone. The fishermen on the seas, the soldiers at war, even King Kalakoa on his courtyard. So, you see, these men would painstakingly work on the fields all day, yet some still say that they were the Yet some still say that they were the most joyous and content, as they were able to spread ha as they were able to spread happiness with one of the four simple strings. But what is happiness? Is it the lack of monotony in one's life? Is it being able to afford everything one wants? Is it being able to know how Dan is girl that whole time? We need the facts, people. So I decided to go online, and I went to my trusty source, Wikipedia. And Wikipedia sums up happiness as experiencing the full spectrum of emotions while still feeling fulfilled. But what is the formula for this? So I started to ask around, and I, started to, I went to these wise and elderly people you always hear about, and I said, how do you find happiness? They said, Karina, honey, look at your scenario and perspective. So let me give you an example. Let's say you've run out of episodes of your favorite TV show. Yeah, it sucks, but it's not like you've run out of resources and your empires are falling apart. Let's say that my sister has come into my room and stolen a top, which I specifically told her not to steal. Yes, I am extremely mad, but it's not like uh, Germany stealing land from France, causing the whole world to go into war and millions of people to suffer and die for years on end. As you can tell, I wasn't fully satisfied with this answer. So I started to research more, and I came across an article written by Oprah. In this article, she says, I often advise people not to trust in me. After finishing the article, I could not agree more. I'm not saying I lead a secret double life as a pop star, and I'm not saying that I'm not telling you to lose credence in anything I've already said. All I'm saying is to have a little bit of reassurance in yourself first before you put some in me. Having confidence in yourself is key. I wish people understood this copying off my maths homework five, five minutes before the lesson. I also think it goes without saying that having an optimistic outlook on life is key. Having, being a little more optimistic can form stronger relationships, lead to more confidence, and I guarantee you, it will give you better results. So let's say, let's take in student. Let's keep the student unnamed for privacy purposes. Now let's say that this unnamed student has a chemistry test tomorrow. Now this unnamed student has not revised one bit. Quite frankly, this unnamed student doesn't know sh anything. <laughs> now I think it's fairly obvious what I should have, what this unnamed student should have done in this scenario. All you have to do is stay around people. You don't have to say or do anything else. It's that easy. It's like a nuclear bomb. 
A supercritical mass is, mass is added, which leads to event, self-sustaining fission events. The fallout is massive and often horrifying and can lead to millions of people to die. It's totally the same thing. Well, kind of. It's like a domino effect. The ukulele can often be a starting force for one of these domino effects. However, the ukulele itself was created from a nuclear reaction. It all started way, way back in 500 BC, when Australasian-speaking immigrants migrated to the beautiful island of Hawaii, followed by the Polynesians and various other empires and colonies. Now let's fast forward to way, way later, when due to various countries blocking different spice routes, countries such as France, Spain, Britain, and Holland all had to look for new trade routes, out of which British captain James Cook found Hawaii. Now he did cause some controversy, but following him came the British with high demands for new crops. With a high demand for new crops came a high demand for, for new farms, out of which the three Portuguese men were chosen to work on these sugarcane farms. And well, you know how the story goes on from here. The ukulele is a massive part of, of Hawaiian culture, however, however, it's played all across the world. The ukulele is the perfect embodiment of how different cultures can come together to create something new and exciting. And that is what happiness truly is. These men were not brought happiness through their ukulele, they were brought happiness through the acceptance of this new culture on this new island. Today, I am not brought happiness through my ukulele, I am brought happiness through knowing I'm part of a community. A school community, a Princess Diaries Man Club community, and well, a ukulele community. Now you can't buy happiness, but you can buy a ukulele, and I like to think that's pretty close.